two part D. The integration of quantity six T to the fifth minus four T to the third plus one with respect to T. You have three terms, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna break it up as three integration. Six T to the fifth, this time with respect to T minus the integral four T to the third with respect to T plus the integral of the one with respect to T. Okay, and each one has the constant term or the constant multiple, six, four, okay? And then the first two, two terms has the constant multiple. What we could do, we use the constant multiple rule, the constant multiple rule, which is the integral of the k times the function is k times the integral of the function. Okay, apply to the first two terms. Now we get six, get six out of the integration, make the integrand as a cleaner function or just the basic function that we identify as the power form, except the last term. The last term is the constant term. So this one, I put the note here, this is the constant. For the constant, constant multiple and constant rule, they are not the same thing, okay? Constant multiple, that means the coefficient. I'm gonna clean up this real quick. So for the constant rule, is the integral of the k with respect to x equals k times x. And in this case, the k is one. This is the power form. We're going to need the power rule. The power for the first term is five. The second term is three. Okay. Next, we're going to apply the power rule with integral of x to the power r with respect to x is x to the r plus one divided by r plus one. But don't forget to add the constant of integration. All right, so we're gonna apply two rules. The first two terms, we apply the power rule. R equals five one time and R equals three another time. And then the last term, we're gonna apply the constant multiple rule. So six, not the constant multiple, sorry, the constant rule. So six times, the first one will be T, T to the, so six, I do, different color here. So gonna be six times t to the five plus one, which is six. So divided by six, okay? Whatever the result from adding the original power by one, use the same number as the denominator. And then subtracted by four times t to the three plus one, which is four, divided by four. And then plus the constant rule, the k is one, gonna be one times x, and added by the common constant of integration C. Okay. At this step, we already applied the antiderivative rule, the integral and the dt, or the integral and the differential t, they are gone. They come together, they go away together. The next step, we're gonna simplify. So at this step, we simplify. Simplify means any number that we can take care of, reduce as much as we can. And then we will get t to the power six minus t to the power fourth plus, actually this is t, not x, sorry. Because the variable is x, oh, variable is t, not the x. So we one times t. Okay, the t variable. So the last term is t and then plus the constant of integration. So that means the answer or the integral of 6t to the fifth minus 4t to the third plus 1 with respect to t is t to the sixth minus t to the fourth plus t plus c. And the answer is there. And again, if you prefer to check the answer, it means you find the derivative with respect to the variable t of the expression t to the sixth minus t to the fourth plus t and then plus C. 
you would get six t to the fifth minus four t to the third and then plus one plus zero and that turns out to be exactly the same as the integrand this is integrand <laughs> 